Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on another bounty, which is the Tidal Worm, and it should be located somewhere in the Lost Sands. So now we're going to make our way there based on the information that's found here. The defeat of the Tidal Worm hidden somewhere in the Lost Sands. So we just need to make our way. I just want to move the metals around as well. I want to... Do I have the... Yeah, Poison Needle. Okay. Everyone's healed. Everyone's ready. Let us go. Actually, do I have the Bugby Knot on? Oh no, I don't. Ah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna put the Bugby Knot on for now. Because I don't want to waste HP um, fighting with these weaklings. And risk... Uh, it's being problematic when I meet the tidal worm, but I expect actually that there there would be like a Venus uh, flower there. Okay, not over there. Hmm. Thing is, my sense of direction is horrible. Maybe here? Yes, okay. I almost fell. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to... Why won't this work? Oops. Huh. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. So I assume this is going to be like a shortcut, or not? What is that supposed to do? I don't get it. Okay. I assume that was a save point. I didn't know that you could hit them to get something else out of it. Okay. Let's see if we can drop this guy down. Go away. Nice. Okay. Oh, he's back. Oh, okay, so we need to use these. No! I think this is going to be the safest way for me to do this, knowing how bad I am with balancing and stuff. Now, now what? Where am I supposed to go? There's nowhere to go! Huh. What was the point of that? I don't get it. Ooh. Okay, there was a water over here. Oh, no. Um, clear water heals heals bad status effects. Is that like a, uh, an expectation that that guy has st status effects that we need to be worried about? No, I want you. I'm less likely to use this. Okay, how do I get up there? Can I, like, hit these things? I think it's like, I... 
Oh, okay. No. Am I supposed to use the ice stuff then? Hmm. Thing is, I can't use the boomerang and fly at the same time. I assume this is the only way I need to do it, which means it's going to be such a pain in the... Ah! Okay. So, what I need to do is probably use the boomerang. And then... When I am near where the water should... But how am I supposed to get there? No, it's too far. The only thing I can think of is that... Okay, there we go, that worked. Very risky, but it worked. Okay, yay, at least I have a save point here. Now, I don't think we need to heal. Yeah, we're good. Okay, ready? Okay, hmm. What should we start with? It's an enemy to actually know. What I'm gonna do is make him use... And then we're gonna use. Hits an enemy twice with needles dealing piercing damage, must target. Wow, okay, five, four, three. Oh, he's poisoned, nice. What can we do? Should we. I wanna spy on him. Okay, so Kabo isn't doing great. Four, ouch. Okay. So I think I need to hurt the tail. But the ice thing isn't great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these. I can't use the needle, needle toss on the back thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this. Wow, that was a lot. Okay, so then... Nice, okay. Okay, so then what was stronger? This was four, three, two, one. So four, seven, or hurricane toss. I'm so confused. I don't know the power of each of these. Uh, let's try this. Okay, nice. And then Cabo can use heavy strike. You can use empower again and you can oh i thought i oh the poison thing is so useful i think i do need to uh use the ice move so sorry use the spy so i'm gonna make leaf spy Uh, 90 defense one scene one there's too much water we can't freeze it all all we have to do we have to do this the old-fashioned way the tail is constantly braging us we must make the time to incapacitate it okay so we need to hit the tail again nice 
Okay. And then... Four. Three. Nice. Okay, 38. That's great. Let's do... So 4, 3, 2, so that was 9. It's not bad. And then heavy strike. 4. And then... Let's see, should I use... Let's see, how much does he hurt? But he did say that ice wasn't that strong. 2, okay, that's not bad. But I love that the little plant is hitting him more. Okay, what's happening? Oh, 5, damn it. I think the water thing's... Oh no, okay V. Hmm, she should be healing soon. So should I not waste... Okay, the idea is to hit the tail. Two, three, four, five. So that it, he gets incapacitated. Okay. And then heavy strike. Nice. Okay. Four. Okay, we're good. And then last but not least, or possibly not last but not least, let's do Neil Pinsir. B and Oh no! Okay, it's fine, it's fine. At least I got an HP out of it. And I think we're done with Heavy Strike. Yes. Okay, that wasn't difficult. But we get zero exploration points because it seems like 140 is the highest you can go. Ooh, nice. The Coal Crystal. Okay, I was worried a lot about this, but it seems like it wasn't as hard as uh, I thought it was going to be. To be honest, the Devourer was much harder, and that guy, we should have been able to reach him at, as close as the Golden Settlement, which was Chapter 3. Let's see if I can do a shortcut from here. Please? Yes, nice. Okay. So we are gonna go to Ant Kingdom. What I did differently this time is I gave V a lot of damage based medals so that her attack increases and because she gets to hit three or four times she does uh, deal more damage in that way and also I gave her the health uh, badge that allows her to gain health when she hits an enemy and that's useful when it comes to double attacks as well. So overall, let me just show you the medals. Actually, no, so this was a mistake. I, this is supposed to be like this. So I gave e these two an HP plus and V has a bit more of them then because she starts out with a lower level anyway. And because I gave her also a TP plus as much as possible, like I'd love to use more of them, but that's not what I can use for now. Super block for Kabo because the plan was originally to use him to taunt, but I didn't need to do that now. But I probably will take advantage of this when I'm fighting the Wasp King. Power exchange increases the attack but lowers the defense. So this is another thing that boosts VS attack. As you can see, she's got three attack and minus two defense. And life stealer is something else. It reduces an ally's attack by one, but their attacks will steal life from enemies. So granted, my life, my attacks are hurting a bit more, but um, I do get some points HP back, and that is important because I'm also using. Life cast, which makes V use her HP instead of TP when she's using her skills. And the good thing about that is because V also has HP core, she recovers two HPs per turn. So with these two, she recovers four. And this with this also, the, the whole team recovers four TP per turn. So this has worked. Meditation can also be used to grant uh, TP, but I didn't need to use that yet. I might actually remove these and give, and do something else. I don't know if I'll need it. 
but and poison needles obviously i can switch between poison and electric depending on what the depending on who i'm fighting against because so, some monsters are more inclined to poison some are more inclined to numbing effects and whatever and the empower so that uh, leaf can also give additional strength to v and the good thing is even if v dies i can always use kabo to revive her using the tp so that's what i did and it worked as you can see I don't know if it's going to work, to be honest, in front of the Wasp King, but we will find out in the next episode, or in the next video. So here is the call. Yes, this is a genuine deal. Here's your reward. The last attack medal increases an ally's attack by one when low on HP. Huh. 50 berries. And I should get... Well, would you look at that? You actually did it. Yep, all the, bod all the baddies are down. You weren't kidding, Doppel. They were quite troublesome to deal with. Knowing Bigaria is safe from these monsters is a great relief. Ain't that the truth? I'll give you something extra for all the trouble you've gone through. The strawberry somehow strengthens bonds between bugs, permanently increases the party's TP by one. Ooh, nice. Neat, thanks, Doppel. Take care, you brave bunch. I should get a achievement. There we go, achievement unlocked. So... That was a mistake, I didn't talk to you. Let's use this so that we can permanently increase our TP. 32. And guys, I think that is it for this video. I wanted it to be short and sweet and only dealing with the bounty so that it can also be used as reference in the future on how to fight them. But the next video after this, I have two options. Either I go use the Termite New Arcade or I proceed with the Chapter 6, I think, mission. And I think I'm going to go ahead with the Chapter 6 mission because I think we did enough side quests and enough side things basically to last a while and um the whole point was to get stronger and i'm at the level now where i can't get any higher so it makes sense to just get started with the hopefully boss fight um i don't know how close we are to it i'm just assuming that we're going to be fighting him very soon but thanks again guys so much for joining me let me know in the comments what you thought about the tidal worm to be honest i thought it was a lot weaker than all the other ones i'm sure i'm actually shocked but again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and see you in the next video. Bye.